Welcome to this Rhapsody of Realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyahilome, Thursday, 11th June 2020. The Holy Spirit, God at work in you. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you. I speak not from myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. John chapter 14, verse 10. The Holy Spirit is the active agent of the Godhead. He is the power of God. He carries out the act of God. Man was created and formed. By the Holy Spirit. Everything God does outside of His throne is done by the Holy Spirit. Nothing works without the Holy Spirit. There is no life without Him. The Lord Jesus, in the days of His earthly ministry, did nothing without the Holy Spirit. In our opening verse, he identifies the Holy Spirit as the Father that dwells in him and does the work. That is a fact to recognize in your life as a Christian. The Holy Spirit in your life is your key to extraordinary and absolute success. None of those who work with him as revealed in the scriptures were ever defeated. None was a failure. Everyone who received him gained the mastery and became the champion. Many in the church today need to know for sure who the Holy Spirit is and his ministry in their lives. He is God. If you were to carry out any task for the Lord in your local church, for example, until and unless you execute it by the power of the Spirit, there will be no impact. You can further understand Paul's submission in Colossians chapter 1 verse 29 in describing his total dependence on the power of the Spirit for effective ministry work. He said, Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his work, which worketh in me mightily. It should and must be the same for every one of us. The Bible says, for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 That is referring to the Holy Spirit. You can't do God's work or even live the Christian life without the Holy Spirit. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 says, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. It is for the same reason that He wants us perpetually filled with the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. The Holy Spirit is God at work in you, building you, and building others through you. Prayer. Dear Father, thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit who has come to take his abode in the quarters of my heart permanently. In all that I do, I acknowledge him as my helper, comforter, counselor, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, and standby. I am totally dependent on his power taking advantage of his divine ability, strength, 
and wisdom that will work in me to fulfill my purpose in Jesus' name. Amen. Further study. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5. John chapter 14, verse 16. Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear unto all. God bless you.